Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and let's go over some things about Madison, about Rick, about CRM, about Padre. This is about Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, a little bit about the world beyond. So spoiler alert for a lot of stuff, I guess, if you're not caught up to Fear, World Beyond, and The Walking Dead. So once we got that little piece about Madison and what was said over the speaker, it does seem that they're trying to brainwash Madison or people coming in. So they said, your name's not Madison anymore. It's who we will tell you to be. So that tells us brainwashing is what comes to mind. So that's what we're going to go with, that they brainwash Madison. And this, I think, is soon after when she come in is at the speaker, soon after she left the stadium, uh, got rescued from the stadium or whatever. So at this point, we know brainwashing. Okay, now let's look at where she is. Even if it's Padre, which I think it is, could Padre be a CRM facility, base, something like that? So the comparisons would be CRM or Civic Republic uh, is a hidden city. Nobody look going to World Beyond, we know that it's a hidden city. Nobody knows where it's at kind of thing. And they want to keep it that way. And that's the same way with their stashes and their bases and outposts and things like that. You see a helicopter, you run. You see people wearing clothes like this, you know, run. They will wipe you out if you even see them uh, just to uh, clear all traces or any path that could lead back to their community. So Padre also, it's a hidden place. Uh, some people don't even think it exists and it's hard to find. Why can't they find it? Because it's a hidden secret place just like Civic Republic. So there's a lot of comparisons as far as that goes. And it's been talked about uh, different places. Reddit, uh, Screen Rant has had some articles, and you guys have been talking about it and stuff, all this stuff. So, you know, there is a whole lot of theory there. I would say my personal right now theory or feeling is that Padre isn't linked to CRM. It's actually something else. But what applied to Madison could apply to Rick, and we'll get there. You know, back when Madison uh, died, supposedly, um, left the show, it was a fire in a stadium and stuff like that. And somehow, as we know now, she got rescued. She escaped and got rescued. She escaped and got captured, whatever it is, to wherever she is now, which we think is Padre, could be CRM. Those are the questions we're asking, right? So in the one sense, they left in a similar fashion as far as fire. The bridge blew up, fire, and Rick's gone on the helicopter. CRM took him. Did Padre take Madison? We think so, and we're talking about the connection. Well, the connection with Rick and Madison is pretty similar as far as the fire. Uh, they disappeared for a whole bunch of years. Um, why haven't they returned? Uh, at least we know we thought Madison was dead, but we know Rick is alive. So why hasn't he returned? He's got family and kids. You know, there's no reason. We couldn't think of any reason why he wouldn't return, really. There's a few theories out there, but I'm just saying, same thing with Madison. If she's alive, and we know she's alive now, as well as Rick, she's got kids out there. She even had the tattoos on her arms in the trailer. Why wouldn't she go back? Because they were her everything. Why wouldn't she try to break out or get away and get back to her kids? So going back to brainwashing, could that happen to Rick as well? Could this both be a CRM link facilities? And that's why brainwashing at both. And that's why Rick possibly could have got brainwashed as well. It answers the question of why hasn't he returned? Once season eight is over, actually, of Fear the Walking Dead, They'll still be years behind The Walking Dead to the point where Madison could meet up with Rick in the first movie somehow even, um, at least by the second as far as what's happening. And Padre, uh, Alicia will come in, Morgan will come in. I think that'll be a big group that can assist Rick or assist Michonne, assist uh, Daryl, whoever it is. You know, if Rick is brainwashed, they may have to rescue him, you know. Uh, so that'll be a thing and maybe even try to talk some sense into him where he will remember them and remember the old way, the old Rick and stuff like that. There for a long time in videos, you can even go back and watch them. My biggest theory was, you know, I don't think he, as far as Rick hasn't returned because they threatened him, you know, Hey, we'll wipe out all of Alexandria. If you try to go back, I just never bought into that. 
I mean, to me, it would be bad writing. Really? That's it, you know, or whatever. So I was going with that he's in prison and he can't get out. You know, he's in some place that uh, they know he's a rebel. They know he's a fighter. They couldn't brainwash him and he's in a prison. But if they did brainwash him and he's running missions for them, which even could be in France with the fast zombie thing, you know, uh, they brainwash Rick. He's one of the most excellent leaders. That's what Jadis was talking about in the world beyond. Uh, I brought them something special. They brainwashed him. Uh, he's leading missions, maybe even going to France for the fast zombies. That's the first movie. That's why you don't need Michonne. You don't have to worry about, you know, his past too much because it won't matter as much in the first movie because it's a, setting up a whole new thing, right? I do think the spinoff in France, uh, the fast zombie thing, will be something different, not related to Rick and CRM, or at least not initially. I think Rick will be, you know, something like a Jada, something, uh, a person running missions, doing something, uh, possibly, if they did brainwash him. One of my reasons to theorize that he's in prison and not brainwashed was the fact that Jada's etched that uh, stuff on the phone. She drew Michonne and Judith and said, Rick, it was written in Japanese, but it said, Rick, believe a little longer. To me, that throws a wrench in the whole brainwash thing, um that he's doing something else, that he's on CRM's side and running missions and things like that, that he can't get away to come see Michonne and Judah. So to me, the phone throws in something that, you know, I don't know. It's hard to explain the full picture. So there are a lot of similarities with uh, Madison and Rick. Does this, you know, um, tie into anything with Rick and stuff like that? Hey, you guys let me know what you think about it all. I know it's a little mind uh, numbing to think about it all but uh, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below and i will join you there we'll have a discussion hey this is james and national as always thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff